Hello guys, uh, so a quick video to help you get started with Quiver. So first thing first, thing first go to quiver.app and uh, then go to GitHub. Uh, on this page you should be able to find um, so a starting point. So the starting point is to clone the repository. So uh, I have SSH enabled, so I'm doing this one, but you can try this one. So you should open a terminal. Up, up, up. Here you copy paste. Sorry. Here, this one, you copy paste it here. So it's going to clone Quiver. Then go into Quiver. So it already went in. Um, now we do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we have backend and frontend that has been created. Um, you need to update it. So right now I'm just going to open the code with uh, Visual Studio. Um, so here uh, we have the backend and the frontend that has been created. Um, so let me show you now what you need to do. The first thing is to update the backend env file. So you just go to Superbase. You start your project, new project, uh, yeah, in this one, uh, demo, demo, um, mm -hmm. you choose a password, uh, region, I'm in Paris, so here, uh, three, uh, a free plan, uh, the password isn't uh, strong enough, let me find a better one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. Um, here it is. So it's going to create a new database, and um, and then all you need to do is uh, the project API keys here is going to come alive. Um, but let's see uh, why it's going. So there's the superbase URL that we need to find the Superbase service key and uh, the OpenAI key. So uh, let's go and look at OpenAI. So you go to platform.openai.com, you create an account. Um, one thing that you have to do is to put uh, a billing a payment method here. Um, and then you are going to be able to use the API. So first thing is to create an API key. So I'm going to create an API key. Uh, demo here so I don't care if you can see it I'm just going to disa disable it right after that um, so now I copy paste this one I go back to here open API so here first thing first um, I'm going back to Superbase so the project URL it's this one Up. here here and then the API key here we don't need this one yet uh, not for now so now we have everything good um, if we look at the, the instructions we have updated uh, the backend with the code now we look at the migration scripts so what we need to do is in uh, SQL editor, go to new query right here, and here you uh, take the first one, so you can even do that if you want, here, and you go here, here, run the query, success, so now you delete it, you copy the second one, here, paste it, run it and so now your table has a document which with id content metadata embedding and the stats this can change in the future but you know uh, it's going to stay the same and uh, now you just do docker compose build and docker compose up so let me find here this so uh, here my docker is not running so i'm going to start it 
and you need to install um, uh, docker so docker is here uh, desktop app download um, it's fairly simple uh, let me go back to um, this one so here is going to create uh, everything that is required um, but because I've already done that um, the container is already in use so I've already one that is running um, but it's going to work for you so now you can just go to localhost uh, 3000 and it's going to work it takes a bit of time because it has to uh, compile all the code um, but if you do a, a modification on your um, branch it's going to work so yeah here it is have fun